Hi, this is Vicki Gilford Parnell. And I have come to share a word that I received from Father God sitting at his feet. This is on 1-20-24 at 11.57 a.m. This is entitled, My People Perish for Lack of Knowledge Word. But before we get into it, let's pray. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, please answer this so that Father, that Father God will be glorified. Lord, I give you praise in all things. And I ask you, guide my steps, Lord, according to Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and you will direct my path. He will direct your paths, Lord. I'm, I'm trusting you to do that. I'm placing my life into your hands. This ministry, my family, the finances, the vehicles, all, Lord. Because I've given it all to you anyways. It's yours. Show me how you want me to go. Don't let me say a word that's not of you, Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Do not let me say a word. I know myself, if this is not of you, you will not let it stand because you're not going to stand me sitting here professing to speak in your name if it's not you, Father God, Jehovah God, Jesus Christ. Your word says in Acts 5, Gamiel, it talks about Gamiel. If this is not of you, it will fall. If it's of you and those people rise up, people rise up against it, the fighting against you. And Lord, I surrender to you and I choose to always, 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 always let you fight my battles. I praise you, Lord, I praise you. Hallelujah. Now, Father God, I'm hearing I clean the ley lines. In the name of Jesus Christ, any ley lines, Father, that are, are trying to be added, that's not needed, I cut them and get rid of them, Lord. But I also clean the ley lines. I clean them with the blood of Jesus, and that's the sword of the Spirit, to just cut away all the, the evil, all the evil, all the travel of the demons and such like. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, I give you praise in all things. Hallelujah. Every plot, gin, snare, device, scheme, I cancel them all. Every form of evil communication that's known to Father God, because guess what? He knows them all. Past, present, and future. I hereby cancel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Him alone. It is His name that is a name above all others. It is His name that's highly exalted. And it is His name, Jesus Christ, wherein all power lies. And I am so grateful that Jesus Christ, you saved my soul. That's what brings me most joy. I love you, Lord. I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I praise you. Now take this word, north, south, east, west, wherever it needs to go. Wherever it needs to go, Lord. Any any witchcraft, woohoo, wahoo, garbage. That's what it is. It's simple garbage. There is no, I know in the kingdom of darkness, this magic is higher than this magic. It's all demon powers it's all done by evil spirits and they all have to bow to jesus christ's name so it doesn't matter what one which one voodoo black magic whatever you still bow to the name of jesus christ it is still demons that's causing it and it's still orders from fallen angels and such like and you are still defeated by jesus christ and him alone and we have got to understand, Lord, help us understand. When you said, behold, I give unto you all power, A-L-L, -L, you meant all power. All power over serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. You did not say of the devil. You did not say of Satan, of demons. You said all the enemy, including those that's coming, including hybrids, including AI, including technology, including governments, including, including, including absolutely all in all existence known to God because God exists everywhere because that's the power of Jesus Christ and the power of what you did, Lord Jesus. That's the power that God has given to you. Hallelujah. And you've given it freely to your children, but still, Knowing we're saved by your blood is the most important thing. And I am forever grateful 
So, Lord, help us reach all we can. Help us reach all we can. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Again, this word came forth. 1-20-24-11-57 a.m. Today is 1-24-24. It's 6.31 p.m. I need to say say a little something. Lord, how do you want me to say this? Those of you that's followed this ministry know that I have a little issue here where I live in this complex, this apartment complex. But I want to point out your little tricks of messing with my outlets because, you know, people with higher levels have access to electricity and you know, to where they will not charge my computer and stuff has not deterred me. Everything you have done since you arrived here in 2020 has shown me and Jesus Christ has used it to make me into who I am today, a warrior in him. And he, it has shown me how resourceful I can be in Jesus Christ. And instead of saying, staying in this little bitty box, oh, Lord, what do I do? The Lord says, think outside the box. What can you do? Let's see. And he has taught me so many ways that I have triumphed over you through Jesus Christ. So, fake H, fake T. Thank you. And the rest of you. Thank you. Really. Thank you. Because it's through purging and testing and trying that we are made into what we can be. Useful to Jesus Christ. If you had not come into my life, I would have still been that little, little timid woman. Hiding in the shadows. Wanting to speak behind closed doors. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do this, but I don't want to get out. I want to do this and hide behind this. No. Thank you. Thank you, Lucifer. You are so unsmart. As I don't know how else to say it. You have created the very thing you were trying to stop. Jesus Christ used everything you, you threw at me. To mold me into what I am today. And instead of all, and all that aside. It has caused me to have a love for Jesus Christ and Father God, an ardent, passionate desire to pursue Him with everything in me. So again, I say thank you. And Jesus Christ, thank you. Father God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are supposed to be content in whatever state we find us in. At first, it used to really get me upset. Not anymore. It's like, okay, God, what are they doing now? How you want to handle this? Lord, show me. How do I need to pray? What's going on? What's, you know, we've got to get past the wounded mind of thought to the, okay, God, the survival mode. Because that's what we're going to need with what's coming. We've got to have the survival mode. Let's get out of the box. Step out in faith into the arms of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All right. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you that spend a lot of time with Father God and Jesus, and you do have a conversation, you, you learn different sides of them. We, we are multi-emotional. We have anger. We have um, love. We have, um, you know, all, all this sadness. We, we're made after the likeness of God. The only thing is everything he's done is perfectly balanced. Everything's in love. He was sad this when he spoke this time. But I've been waiting. When do I release it? He was he was he was sad. And he just called me to him. 120 24 11 57 a.m. My people perish for lack of knowledge. I know, Lord, I know. It ought not to be. I have provided for them every way to learn and know the ways of the enemy so in my wisdom they can fight effectively. My people perish, daughter. They perish. I know, Jesus. I know. What can I do, Jesus, my love? What can I do? Here am I. Send me. Lead me. Show me. And with your help, I'll do it. 
Teach them, daughter. Teach them the ways, the traps and snares of the enemy, and the crafty devices and means to destroy my children. Time has run out for many, but the few little daughter, the few remain. Reach for them. Please, my daughter, I have given you a platform to share of me, and you have done well in obedience. Expose the enemy. Teach my word and yielding in its truth. Teach my love and my judgment. The mantle of teaching and healer I now pass upon you, I place upon you, but teach nothing unless my Holy Spirit is directing you. Yes, I understand. I agree. And with your help, my love, and with your help, my love, and with sweet Holy Spirits, we will reach all we can. I know you will, little daughter, for I have trust in you, your obedience. Your heart for the people is my heart. Guard it carefully with my word, as you have been doing. I will, Jesus, I will. It's time for you to come to be with me. Until such a time, you'd reach all you can while you can. You are to reveal the kingdom of darkness, little daughter. I shall help you in your prayer emails. See, I was even praying about them. My love and that of the others. You're weeping over those of mine in bondage. Is as my own heart. Weep for the lost while you still can. Pray harder than before. The enemy is unleashing upon your world a wave of tragedy and devastation. Hold fast, for soon I shall come for my children, my faithful ones, in the spotless white garments. Oh, how breathtaking they are coming to behold. Run the race to the end, little daughter. Although your fate is different, yet in many ways the same for those of mine who shall make up my end time remnant. He, Antichrist, shall seek to make your death and that of my other prophet a public spectacle. And for the and for three days plus more they shall celebrate your demise. But then I shall display my true winning hand as I call forth life back into you both and all the world to see and behold the wonder of the true God of heaven. For Antichrist cannot bring forth life from the grave, because I now hold those keys in my hands. In my hands, little daughter, in mine. They shall say in your world, Come see this man who cast out the, the troubling spirits and heals the mind, the body, miracles upon miracles. He shall do. But... Antichrist cannot call forth life back into a body that life has departed. And this is how, in the time of great, greater deception, all will know who is the Antichrist and who is the real Christ. I am resurrection power, little daughter. I have the power through my Father to quicken the dead excuse me, to quicken the body and restore life or change the old body into that of new. All power. All power has been placed in my hands and I place it into the hands of my children. Yet still they perish for lack of knowledge. Even though it's really ava it's readily available to all in every way possible known to them. My people have become lazy and slothful in their learning of me and of your enemy. When you are in a war between two opposing fractions, it is wisdom to learn all you can to defeat those attacking you best, excuse me, attacking you, lest if you don't, you will perish on the battlefield, like many of mine. My people perish slowly from lack of knowledge in a time error in your world that it abounds like never before. 
Your internet access has answers at your fingertips in less than a minute in most instances. Yet you do not utilize it wisely. Instead, you look at your social media sites, chatting back and forth most times in useless chatter. There's no excuse for being ignorant of the enemy's devices. Yet so many are. They are, daughter. They are. And for this many shall perish from traps, snares, and darts of the enemy by their own unwillingness to study, to seek, and to learn about me, their Savior, and the tactics and devices of your enemy's kingdom. And still yet many, when the enemy's devices are revealed and it brings about the truth of something they don't want to hear, they will roll their eyes as if it has been spoken in nonsense because they like their things. Just like the one who said she was a friend rolled her eyes toward my heavens when you renounced the wearing of makeup on your face when you learned it originated and it's sent out by your enemies of the marine, the water kingdom. Such is the way of many of my children who will listen until they hear something is wrong that they have no intention of giving up. Even if it allows multiple doors into their lives for the enemy to enter into. And alas, my people also perish by choice. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. Many of us are trying to inform and reach all we can as we ourselves are learning it. Help us, Holy Spirit, sweet friend. Teach us all we need to know so we can adequately fight our enemies. In Jesus Christ's name. Because it's hard to swing a sword at someone or something with one hand while the other is shaking hands with the very same enemy that they're supposed to be destroying. You are correct, little one. And most likely, my children will perish physically and spiritually who try to fight to live their lives this way. Little daughter, little daughter, my people are perishing. And many, it's by their very own choice and decisions. I'm sorry, Lord. I am too. That's how he finished it. And I said it was Father God, but it was Jesus. I'm sorry. Here's the verses. Hosea 4, 6. It now says my people are destroyed. I learned it perished. My people perish. Hosea 4, 6. Isaiah 5, 13. 2 Timothy 2, 15. Proverbs 1, 24 through 33. John 5, 21. 25 through 26. Isaiah 8, 15. Revelation 1, 18. Romans 8, 5 through 11. Job 5, 12 through 13. 2 Corinthians 2, 11. Psalms 81, 11 through 12. Ephesians 4, 27. 2 Timothy 2, 4 through 5 and verse 26. 1 John 3, 7. Daniel 12, 4. Please pray about this word. My people perish for lack of knowledge. In a time where knowledge abounds. There's never been access to knowledge like, like now. And I hear so many people say. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to study that. Because I might get possessed. Or I might get you know go. Behold I give unto you. All power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And all the power of the enemy. Luke 10 19. Which means you pray. Now you don't just run into anything. You pray. Yes, Holy Spirit. Okay, if I need to study this, discern. You're going to hear that from me. Discern. Try the spirits. Do I need to study this? And if so, lead me to the sites you need me to go to. 
cover yourself in the blood. Jesus Christ, please cover me. I plead your blood over me, over my computer, over everything. And then enter. Also, you can pray, Lord, protect my mind. Don't let anything stick in my mind that does not need to be. But whatever you're trying to show me, let me find it. Let me get out quick. In Jesus Christ's name. That's how I do it. I don't I don't like going and digging in all that garbage. It is garbage. It's garbage. But I'm not going to be ignorant either. I'm not going to be ignorant. That's like when I was talking about, like already, they've already taken off, um, my computer's now going down, it's plugged in. And I was talking to the Lord, and he mentioned it being um, a draining. It's a spell-like thing. Also, the higher-ups that's here, I have the capability at their hands. You know, to mess with electricity. They're in the building. They're, you know, pitch a little gizmo gadget in there or whatever. I don't care. Jesus Christ is greater. Got it charged up today, didn't I? Hallelujah. If I have to leave my house to charge something up, unless the Lord, you know, I don't care. I'm going to do what the Lord calls me to do. All you have done, I just have to say it again, is show me how many ways to persevere through Jesus Christ for God's glory. I have learned so many ways <laughs> to get things done. Where before I would have sit and said, Lord, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? No, no, no. So, children of God, be resourceful. If something happens and you're like, oh, what happened? Start praying. Okay, Lord, what did happen? Is this a physical weapon? Is this something occurred naturally so right now I can hear the weapon going down I can hear it I hear it come on and go off the machine I can I have yeah it's in um yeah that one over here and I don't care to say it because greater is he that is in me and he that is in the world this video will go up and it will stay up and whether you believe me or not that's between you and God I know. I can tell you the exact date they came. They arrived. Lord told me two weeks prior, this is what's going to happen. And then when the others came, the higher up over them came. The Lord told me that too. Showed me the vision. I said, okay, Lord. Okay, your will be done. When you start speaking out and you start revealing the things of the enemy, Especially the things that I have been revealing. And I'm lifting myself up. In the dream, the Lord has revealed many things that they've wanted hidden. Your will be done, Lord. Your will be done. You will not take me where you cannot keep me. You will not. He will not. He is faithful. All right. Bear with me just a moment. Praise the Lord. I prayed over this before I got on here. And, um, alright, I, I don't mean to ramble. I am working on a dream, but there's a, 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 a drawing he's wanted me to do, and I'm praying, Lord, how do I draw that? So that will be coming out shortly, Lord willing. And I've got to go back over some journal entries. I am praying over the emails. I have been reading things I have never released. Some I've released, but not all. But the Lord has took me back because I did not understand the timing. And honestly, I still don't understand fully God's timing. Because when he says a, a day, it could mean a, a month, it could mean a year, it could mean, you know, it could be because a day is a night. A night and day are the same. It's a lot of time. But his days are totally different than ours. And we want him to work on our calendar. We want him to work on our time when he created time. He set the moon and the stars in, in orbit. To make our years and stuff we can't demand 
we we need to keep a healthy fear of God and the knowledge of who he is. He is righteous and he is holy. He is in control and he's going to do it his way. Get that through your head. You don't, he's not going to bow to how we want it done. He's going to do it his way. Why? Because it's just, it's right, it's perfect. It's, it's God is perfect. And his wisdom. And he'll do what's best for all involved. So there's a lot of things that, that I have, I've asked the Lord about. Oh, Lord, I don't understand. I don't, you know, and I've been praying. I've had to repent for saying, I don't understand. I've had to come back and say, Lord, open my understanding more. I understand, but not fully. So I'm asking and praying for more understanding. I'm asking for wisdom and judgment and discernment. Lots and lots and lots of discernment. Because you have discernment, you see the enemy coming like a mile away. You know, or for, I, as far away as you can do it, Lord. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Please pray about this word. I said, Father, I was sitting in front with Father, Father God, Jesus Christ, Daddy God, before I got on here. And he just gave me a word. So when I was given this word, I said, Father God, and I apologize. It was Jesus Christ I was speaking with. There's so much coming. With all that's coming, you, you, you can't let these things take your focus off Jesus Christ. You cannot allow your focus to be taken off Jesus Christ. He's your anchor. He is your anchor in a world gone mad. A world full of chaos, destruction, calamities. He is your anchor. What you need to do is keep your, your heart right with Jesus Christ and clean before him. Should he call you home before rapture, you want to be ready. You don't want to be left behind. When a child of God departs this world, that is living the life. We are called to rejoice. We're not supposed to be mourning them. We're supposed to rejoice that they are finally, their trials are over, the persecution is over, and they are with the one that we love the most, Jesus Christ, Father God. That is what we are supposed to do. So let's be ready for whatever he calls us, whatever our lot is. Should he delay? Now understand, people say, should he delay? That's not right. That's not right. His return is set. When Father God tells Jesus to go, that's not what it is. Because God's timetable is set. And it's perfect and he's unmoving. Now, will he sometimes, if things have changed, like with Amos, he says, I'm going to do this. And say, He's already lauded it in his timetable because he is perfect and he knows all things. So in all these things, all these things coming, don't get your focus off Jesus Christ. Don't look at all the drama. Don't look at all, all the earthquakes. Don't look at all of the floods and, and all the devastation and, and all that. Be prepared. And be wise. Now, this is something I'm just going to mention. I'm going to ask that you pray about it. I'm not going to answer any more questions. When I read the book about the hiding place, they kept them with it. What we, I guess we call it a bug out bag now. Ready at all times. You know, the scripture says about fleeing at the mountain, not, not look back. You might want to be prepared for anything. Pray about that. Because it's coming a time when we're going to be hunted. But he is faithful. He is faithful. There's nothing that's going to happen. He did not already know and is not already prepared for you in advance. If you trust him. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I would recommend that you... I ask that you invite him into your heart. 
You don't want to go through what's coming without him. He's a love. He's a love I can't even comprehend. I can't even describe. He's a love that's pure. He's a love that loves you whether you love him back or not. He's a love that's willing to forgive every evil wrong thing you've done. When the world wants to cast you, you know, under the rug. He's got his arms wide open saying, come to me. I love you. I love you. Please say this prayer with me. Jesus Christ, I ask you to forgive me of my sins and wash me clean. I ask you to come into my heart and be my God and my Savior, my Lord. I repent of all the wrong I've done and I confess you are the Son of God who came to this earth as both God and man. You came by virgin birth. You gave your life on Calvary. You gave your life. But you rose again victorious. King of kings and Lord of lords, a conquering king of all. I accept you right here, right now, and confess you before God and man. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Jesus Christ is a love like no other. And I've run into so many, especially young people, that don't want to try Jesus Christ because they've tried everything else. And if they try Him and it fails, there's nothing left. I encourage you to try him because he won't fail. Jesus Christ is incapable of failing. They're incapable of sin, Father God and Jesus. And they will love you unconditionally. I recommend you get your Bible. A hard copy while you can. And I would recommend you get one easily transportable. You can't, you're not going to be able to depend on your electronics, okay? Get your hard copy. Pray about it. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you into which one. Most of you think you're going to be snug and rug in your homes. Pray about that. Really pray about that. Get your uh, Word of God. Pray and ask Holy Spirit, which one, which one would be best for you? I would recommend you, you buy it personally. There, there, certain places are now, I posted it on community page, it was, it was sent to me, or it just popped up on my feeds what it was, where the federal government, the feds are already flagging people that purchases Bibles along with extremists and other things it's on the community post and the YouTube pages I, I posted three different articles I just I, I got it that day I don't know when I didn't even read all the articles I just saw the headlines these things are coming quickly we've been warned we've been warned we've been warned and we keep on going on like I've got time you don't. But until that time, if the Lord leads you, look for a church. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to a church. Or put you in with like, like-minded, like like people. People that are passionately chasing after Jesus Christ and Father God. Who want to glorify God in all that we do. That's who you need to be around. But if you find that you can, there's nobody, you go to the book of John and start reading. But John 14, 26 tells you that the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit comes in when you get saved. He's the one that convicts you and causes you to want to be saved. He will teach you. 
He will teach you. So if you're in a situation where there is nobody, Holy Spirit will teach you. Ask Him. John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit is called the Comforter, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, all the same, the anointing. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. He will teach you. He's not going to abandon you. Jesus Christ is not going to just you know, save you and then abandon you. So pray. How do I pray? Jesus Christ, in your name, I ask the Holy Spirit to show me what Bible to get. Now, you may not hear an actual word. You may feel like when you go, if you go look at the Bible, you may feel like a real tug. Like, and then just say, is this the right one? You feel that same tug? You can also discern the spirits, and that's by asking questions on John, 1 John 4, 1 through 3. 13 through 15 and 1 Corinthians 12 3 yes we have a little um, on the website www.mylovelyjesusministry.com on the first warfare page under some of the lessons that the Holy Spirit gave my son reason I have kept that one up instead of me writing one out myself it's on it says training your ears to hear that is about discerning the spirits it's in the, I think, CB translation, but he's the way the Lord gave it to him was really simple. And it is the same way I do it. I just use KJ. I would have used it in possibly different words. It is easy to understand. It's free to download. Anything on the website is free to download. If you download any of the dreams or words or visions and such like, do not change the words. But you're free to, free to use them. They're not mine. They belong to Father God, Jesus Christ. They belong to heaven. But if you change the words and I find out, I will have to ask you to stop. That's just the way the Lord said. Leave it the way I gave it. And yes, I know there's grammatical errors. Yes, I know that the wording, I understand there's a lot of people says, um, for instance, like no retaliation, instead of saying there isn't any retaliation. No if you read in the Bible, the KJV especially, the, the the language he speaks to me mainly is the way they did in KJV. That's what I read all the time. So please, don't try to correct it. Because there are words in there too. Like there was one word with um announcement with, with Gabriel, the way he said the word. I don't know how many people have trying to say you need to change that. No. And when you read the definition of the words, the one they want to change it to, and the ones that there's different meanings. You never change anything that you've been given. Unless, for example, we have the situation with the, and you ask the Lord, what do I use so I can post it? But then when you put it out where you can, you put it exactly like you got it. Because... If we were to, you know, talk about the, the thing that come around and everybody was sick, 2020, you know, and we start speaking the truth about it, we get thrown off. So we pray. I Even in that, I ask, Lord, how do you want this worded? Lord, I'm not going to change your word, but you tell me how do I get it on here. You tell me to share it on here. So what... What what wording do you want? And then I know once it goes on to the website, it's going to be just like I received it. If I post on community post and it's got, you know, all that stuff in it, it will be as I present it on here. Because the, you know, AI, evil AI is what I call them, evil AI programming flags everything. It's hooked up to Antichrist. What do you expect? <laughs> but God. <laughs> he has to have a computer. God's all-knowing. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the facts. God is all-knowing. For him to appear, appear to be all-knowing, all-seeing, he has to have a computer. Think of that. Again, our God is greater, bigger, stronger. He's just, he's everything. 
He's everything. All right, I got to get off here. This is running. I love you. God bless. Stay under the blood. Pray for one another. Never stop praying for your brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. And if you have an ought against someone, if you don't like someone, you still pray for them. And be careful so that where you don't like them, so don't turn into bitterness or turn into something else. Pray for one another. If you have a person you don't like, ask the Lord, why do I have this feeling of dislike? It may be there's something wrong in your heart. It may be the Lord Jesus Christ saying, say, hey, something ain't quite right with that person. Trust the Lord. Ask Holy Spirit to lead you in all things. Ask Jesus Christ. They do not mind you asking. They would rather you ask and you stumble into a trap. Ask and you shall receive. Matthew 18, Jeremiah 33, 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee. God don't owe us anything. Jesus Christ don't owe us anything. They don't have to answer anything. But they're saying out of love. Ask. 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 A lot of times they won't move in your situation till you ask. Because you have free will. Alright. Seriously. This time. In Tennessee. God bless, stay under the blood. And keep looking up. Because even though we know these things are coming, we know Jesus is coming too. He is coming. So, stay spotless white in Him. And that you do by staying in the Word and being obedient to it.